Happy quarantine, guys! It's a girl Suki and virtual hug. So I was really bored at home, and uh, I decided to buy some snacks online and just do a little haul with you guys. Some of them are my favorite. Some are even new to me. For example, this one. I've never seen this one before, and I definitely want to give it a shot. Hopefully, it's good. Let's start with something safe, something I already tried, which is this one. As you can see, I already had two bags open, and uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys know this one. It's very famous. Dun, 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 this one. Just a little bit spicy, but unfortunately, this one will give you a lot of calories, but I don't care. Mm, it's a little bit too salty. Let me have a drink. This one is called Shuang Y Y. I know it looks kind of naive because they are in fact designed for kids, which is why I've been loving this one since I was, I don't know, under 10 years old. But this is really good. You know, even today when I say something is really cool or you know really awesome, I would like to say. It's a strong YY, strong YY. Let me have a taste of the childhood. Mm. It's like milk, but uh, definitely has more flavors in it. It's not a combination of milk in a yogurt but not like greek yogurt definitely for sure it's more like you know yogurt with more liquid in it which may sound gross but it tastes really good okay next one why don't i try this one you know why i bought it look at the packaging it's so cute it's, it has my favorite color on it it's the pink this one the pink oh my god it's so cute so this is called Yogurt Bricks and uh, I think it's basically a energy bar maybe? I don't know. Let me have a look. How to open this one? Ah, uh, okay. Okay, let's see. So it opens like this. So there are several bars in it and uh, the inside packaging is also very cute. Let me try it. Oh. Okay. This one looks kind of different from what I expected. It looks more like cookies. So. It's like this. Mm. Okay, so this one here is like sugar frost. Mm. Oh. It's definitely cooking inside. And here it's like the dried strawberry so in general it is sweet and sour I like it so I don't know scale from 1 to 5 and 5 being the most recommended I think I'll give it a 4 and uh, this one is a for as well just because I don't think that everyone is gonna like the taste is designed for children anyways and uh, for the first snack this one that's definitely a five mm. it's like Christmas I have so many snacks
stay here a bit. You're the next one. Mm. Just one second. No, it's actually very chewy. You're the next one. Stay. Okay. Are you up? This one. I don't need to try it before I can tell you I'm gonna give it a 5. This has been my favorite since high school. Yeah. I think it's from. Yeah. This one is from China, Taiwan. And uh, it's basically like fried noodles, fried uh, instant noodles. This is what it looks like. It's really cute, right? Mmm. Another good memory of childhood. You know, the bad thing about this one is you can't have too much because it's gonna give you a lot of calories. That is super good. All right. Mm. Which one is the next? This one. Let's try this, babe. How to open it? So this one is a oat cookie with some chocolate. Chips maybe on it. I don't know about you, but I've always had problems opening, you know, the products from this brand. Ah, so each one comes in a single package, which is very convenient. You can just like put it in your bag and just have it on the go. So yeah, looks good. It looks just like a regular cookie. It's kind of dry. <clears throat> I wish it could be, you know, more fluffy inside, but Hmm. I've had better ones. I think on a scale from one to five, five being the best, I'll give it a three. All right, let's try the next one. Um, how about this one? This is called Bori Hai Tai Juan, and uh, in English is seaweed roll waffles. So it's made of seaweed. It should be very salty, I would say. Let me open it. Okay, another packaging that's hard to open. Alright. Okay, so there's just there's just like one package in it and uh let me open it. Why is it always so difficult to open? This is what it looks like inside. Let me try this. Mm. Okay. So 
I can test egg in it. It's not salty at all. It's kind of actually kind of sweet. There isn't so much seaweed in it as expected. But uh, on a scale from one to five, I think I'm gonna give it a two, just because it's really crispy, which is good. But I think the taste is not as good as I want it. So okay, I definitely need to do another deep cleaning in my room later. Next one, let me see. How about this one? Feng Li Su. It's another product from Taiwan, and uh, it's like if you travel to Taiwan, this is something that you definitely need to get. Okay, so there are like you can see many small packages in it, which is oh my god, which is a good thing because it's easy to take. Holy shit, my table is definitely a mess. So it looks like this. Hmm. Look at it, it's so cute. Okay. Mm. It's really soft. This is what it looks inside. So, I think it's a pineapple in it, but with a lot of sugar, so it's very sweet. Satisfying, you know. Okay, so on a scale from one to five, I think I'm gonna give it a five because it tastes really good. And the texture is also awesome. If you ever travel to Taiwan, you definitely need to try it. It's very good. The only thing is, it's really sweet. So make sure to drink a lot of water and brush your teeth afterwards. All right, so which one is the next? Um, how about... Let me see. Okay, you're the next. This is Shu Yuan. This snack has been my favorite for, I think, four years or five years. As you can see here, they are basically just potato chips, but these ones are not fried. So if you are concerned about being healthy and uh, losing weight, this one is definitely a better choice than the regular potato chips. And it opens from here. Okay, so there are two packagings like this inside. You know, when I was studying in the States, I asked a friend of mine took many many bags of this one from Beijing to Boston so you can imagine how much I love it this is what it looks inside it's very crispy right mm. after so many years still super good If you are into potato chips, definitely try this one. It's really good. I'm gonna have another one. There are many flavors, you know, for this brand, but the original one is my favorite. Mm -hmm. 
All right. So our next one is mm, yeah, that's fine. Okay, I've no idea how to read it, but this is a brand from Korea, and in English it is honey butter chip. Yeah, you can probably tell I really like chips, right? Okay, so okay, so this one looks more like a regular ordinary plate of chips, but uh, it's definitely honey. The flavor is definitely honey. It's very very crispy and uh, crispy in a light way, not that one. Previous one is crispy in a heavy way, if that makes any sense. But uh, on a scale from one to five, I think I'm gonna give it a three maybe, just because I really love that one and that one was definitely a five. But uh, look at the packaging. The packaging of this one is really cute, right? So next one, let's try. Let's try this one. This is called Riches Nabati Cheese Waffle. All right. I think it's from Vietnam. I'm not sure. Let me see. Oh no, sorry, it's from Indonesia. Let me try it. Hmm, how to open it? Why do I always have a hard time opening this? Wow, look at it, it's really long. Okay, so it's like this. I think there is a lot of cheese in it. Whoa. Okay, I definitely need to clean my floor later. Hope my love lord doesn't mind. Okay. So, it looks like ordinary waffle as well. Mmm. Okay, there's definitely a lot of cheese in it. Okay. Mm. It's cheese with a lot of salt in it. Okay, this one. The last one. So this one is called Lipo. Lipo. And it's cream egg cookies. Butter flavor. And uh, this one is from... This one should be from Vietnam. Yep, this one's definitely from Vietnam. Let's try it. I'm guessing they come in small packages as well. So how to open this one? Hmm. How to open it? Shit. Do I have a cedar here? Let me see. Uh, no, the only tool I have is this. <laughs> but I don't think this one will help. Like, I honestly don't think Shremmer will open this one. Nope, nope, not a chance. Uh, okay, I'll get a scissor. One second. All right, I'm back. All right. All right. You know what? Even though this one was good, I would not give it a five star just because I need a scissor to open it. I mean, God, it's 2020 already. Pay attention to your packaging. Attention to your user experience. Okay. Mm. 
Okay. All right. Finally. So it's like this inside, and uh, it comes in small packages as well. Let me try it. Looks kind of cute. I'm sure I don't need a scissor to open this one. Okay. Ooh. Okay, there's definitely a lot of butter in it. Look at it. It's basically yellow. Mmm. Okay. It's not sweet, which is good. Not soggy, which is perfect. It's, it's kind of crispy, but crispy in a different way from those potato chips. Mmm. I kind of like it. So I can taste um, butter inside as well as eggs. So, on a scale from 1 to 5, I think I'm gonna give it a, a 4 just because the packaging was really hard to open but um, I think it's gonna be a very good snack on the go Okay, you know there are some kind of snacks that don't really have a strong flavor or don't really have you know anything particular to stand out but you just really love it and uh, it's good um, you know no matter in school or at work or you know in subway this is one of those snacks pretty good all right guys Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I had such a fun time and a satisfaction filming this video. And uh, if you like it, make sure to give it a thumbs up and uh, comment below. Let me know what you want to see in the next video. And uh, my name is Suki. Make sure to stay home, wash your hands, and uh, be healthy. All right? And I'll see you next time. Bye.